What up, what up, YouTube? Um, just want to show off my issues one, one through twenty for the volume one of the Punisher. I picked these up around the time the the new Dare, the new Daredevil season premiered. A little before that, I was wanting to pick up some of the older stuff with the Punisher. It just so happened the show was coming out, and it kind of got in my head, and I was like, let me jump on this, and I was able to pick up the first twenty issues. They're pretty cheap. Um, this is number one, the uh, comic book store version. I also have another number one with the newsstand version, both from near mid shape. This is uh, number two. I actually picked them up in a total of two lots because the first the first lot I picked up had the majority of one through twenty. Then I had to pick up uh, a second lot for a little cheap, cheaper actually, which gave me the second number one and a few issues I was missing. So I do have some doubles. It's number three. Number four. Number five. Uh, I, I'm drawn to anything from the early 90s to the 80s. I mean, that's that's when I got into comic books in the early, early 90s, like 90, 89, 90, 91. That's when I was buying comics. And I remember seeing all this stuff on the newsstands. My family had it, you know, whatnot. And this is a Magnolia cover, by the way. I didn't know that. Um, and I believe this was one of the issues that I was missing when I bought the first lot. It was number six. Had to buy the other lot to get it. So yeah, you know, this Punisher stuff is what I saw growing up. One of the books I saw growing up along with Deathlock, Ghost Rider, Dark Hawk, of course the X-Men, the Claremont run, uh, X-Factor. Later on it was the X-Force, New Mutants, number eight. So I've been buying up a lot of stuff from the nine, early 90s, late 80s. I know a lot of you guys are drawn to the stuff from the 70s. Me, man, my 90s, 80s kind of guy. I'm an 80s baby. Issue number nine. And all these colors are dope. Number 10. There's a, there's actually a Daredevil issue that supposedly tells this story from his point of view. I have it written down somewhere. I've been meaning to try to order it off of eBay and then read both stories but I read that somewhere that this issue goes hand in hand with another uh, Daredevil Daredevil issue same storyline number 11 number 12 who draws it this is uh Oh, never mind. Number 13. Nice. Number 14. Number 15. Nice kingpin cover. Number 16. Number 17 and I you know I haven't really read any of any of these just so maybe one or two but I gotta sit down and go through all of them number 18 who is this artist He's doing the cover I'm kind of curious hmm. okay number 19 one of the one of my favorite covers pretty dope you know on the camel with a shotgun how does that work i don't know but the punisher is going to pull it off and number 20. so um i'm probably going to try to pick up a few more uh, probably like the next 10 maybe the next 20 issues but that's how i like to pick up my books i like to pick them up in order i don't like to pick up like jump all over the series i like to like kind of stay where i'm at or pick up a nice solid run so 
anyway thank you for uh for checking out my video and you guys take care